Today, there's some semblance of order in Somalia, but it could fall apart at any moment. Al-Shabaab is still a threat, but some Somalis are working to break the cycle of hopelessness that attracts young men to the group. Talking about the who's fighting, this is the guys they are using. And some of them were at risk at to be risk. recruited into Absolutely. it. Fartuna Dan runs an NGO that works with former child soldiers forced into combat by Al-Shabaab. That's one of your slogans? Put that the gun down that. and take the pen? Absolutely. That is the our slogan, and that is what the Elman is. The center is named after her husband, Elman, a well-known Somali peace activist who was assassinated by Somali warlords in 1996, forcing Adan and her daughters to flee to Canada. She returned to Mogadishu in 2007 at the height of the conflict to continue her work. We went in Canada, we have normal life. But I came back for this. And I have to feel I'm changing things. But the, the threat of Al-Shabaab is still real. It right? is. It is real. Yeah. It is real. They kill every day someone. The people who's exploring themselves, the people who are killing themselves. They're not even 30. The oldest one you can see, maybe 20 something. Yeah. So you can see the, where is the problem is. It's no education, it's no hope, it's nothing. So what are you gonna do? Where are we gonna go? That's the question they ask. And these kids are easy to recruit if they don't have they will see, tell some you, kind of opportunity. Some kids, they will tell you, I'm not doing for religion, but I'm doing for financially. Right. But we do this is working as a schools to help the kids to counseling, to education, all this. And the community sees us as we helping and supporting, and we are trying to help as much as we can. And also having the young guys who have another alternative, and you see the change in motivation. So we are part of the change. This is absolutely working, and this, the work we're doing is very risk. Yeah. Not only for Shabaab, but also the government whoever wanted to use it, the kids. The majority of students at the Elman Center are former Al-Shabaab fighters, but many of them won't talk about their experience for fear of reprisal. What were you doing before you came to this, this uh, program here? After a long search, we finally find someone willing to speak about his time with Al-Shabaab. <laughs> Were there a lot of other kids your age with Shabab? Yeah. 